Hello and welcome to Ms. Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Ms. Enjoy and I'm here to do your daily fast five for love and relationships. I'm going to pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you. My Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday, July 22nd. Okay, hello to my returning subscribers. I love you and you are greatly appreciated. To any new viewers, hi, welcome. You're loved and greatly appreciated as well. If you have not yet done so, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. If I do not resonate with you, please feel free to seek another reader. There are lots of wonderful readers and light workers out there who may have the message that is meant for you. Never allow a reader or a reading to ruin your energy. Thank you so very much. All right, my Geminis, we're going to go ahead and get into your energy. We're going to ask spirits of the ancestors, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers, to please be here to deliver a positive message for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday, July 22nd. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're going to go ahead and shuffle your energy into the cards. If you don't start, timer, okay. Thank you. I got to beat you to death. I'm supposed to be able to tap you. It, it's Mercury retrograde, people. Everything is wonky in my life. I am an organized individual. Man, I keep losing shit. Misplacing stuff. Had something straight up stolen from me. You just don't understand what I'm going through, people. My electronics is fucking up. Life is just... How is Mercury retrograde for y'all? Drop something in the comments. If people exes is in every other reading, it's exes coming out the woodwork. This Mercury retrograde, because of the two eclipses that precede, or not even precede, have co it can collided and, co and it just collided. This whole planetary placement is just a big, hot mess. <laughs> It's just a big high mess. That must be something I need to say at, for your reading moving forward. Because I don't know what that brought, brought that out at that particular moment. But we're going to go ahead and pull these cards and see what's going on with you, Gemini. All right? But no, the Miss and Joy is struggling this week. All right? Uh, the pen, Queen, of, pe, Queen of Pentacles. Okay? See, I can't even speak properly. <sighs> the World Card. The High Priestess, the Six of Cups, and the Lover's Card. Okay. Well, somebody doing all right. Say it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. We got the Queen of Pentacles, the World Card, the High Priestess, the Six of Cups, and the Lover's Card. Okay, Gemini. It's looking muy bueno. It really is. Okay. Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? Dang it. You know what? I said I was going to keep notes. And I need my butt spanked. Because I said I was going to keep notes from week to week. Because I cannot remember who it was that my cat is on my nightstand. And I'm about to just... Shuri. Shuri. Just get down. Don't talk. Don't talk back. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um. Was it you that had the crush with the female situation that, you know what? I'm going to pause. Let me, I'm pausing. I'm going to go find, I'm pausing. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Gemini, I'm back. I found it. I was right. I did remember correctly. Something's going right in my head this week. Uh, it was Friday. It wasn't the weekend read, but it was the Friday read. So if you didn't see the Friday read, this is some type... This is that person you must be watching again today. Okay? Because... Or this message is... Or you're back to see or what is going on today. Because this is... There's once again... I talked about it on Friday because I talked about how wonderful it would be. If people had a some type of definite way to determine their sexual orientation, if you like or are interested in someone of the same sex who 
you know, but you know, you don't want it. The dilemma was how do you, how do you approach or how do you tell someone of the same gender if you're, um, if you're open to that, that they're in, that you're interested in them without weirding them out and running them away. Um, and so that's what this is. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the World card, the High Priestess, the Six of Cups, and the Lover's card. So did you say something? With the World card, I'm, I'm getting that there was success in this situation. Okay, I'm getting that this whatever this was with the wait that was it that's coming in in the Queen of Pentacles energy, it's moving to the next level. There's a change, a complete change in the situation or the relationship. Okay, and with the Six of Cups, that's emotional stability and balance. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then you got the Lovers card. Okay, divinely got a soulmate connection. So you were feeling this person. You're afraid to. If you were he, you were afraid to re you were afraid to approach him, and if you were she, you were afraid to approach her. And if you were trans, you just didn't know how to approach that person. And you, I guess, somebody spoke up, somebody said or did something, and you have decided to take that to the next level. If you were just a, an associate, now you're your friends, or you're talking. If you were talking, now you're dating, or you know, you've taken it up a step, you've taken it up a notch. There's been a progression. Congratulations, Gemini. Okay, because like I said in Friday's video, the only thing I can say to you is what I would say to any heterosexual individual. Is the same thing. Just go for it. Because I'm, like I said, I'm bisexual. And there's been lots of times I've had a crush on somebody who I thought was absolutely just awesome. And, and didn't know if that person was in, if that female was into girls. You know? And it would be nice to know if everyone wore their sexual orientation on their foreheads. <laughs> you know? But we don't, and it, and it's hard to make that decision sometimes. Sometimes your gaydar is on, and sometimes it's just not, or you're just out of fear. You do you have doubt? So really, the issue is just conquering the fear and accepting. Because in all situations, to advice to anyone, homosexual or heterosexual, that the worst thing a person can say is no. All right, and then you you just if it's weird and like I said also if the person is weirded out after that and doesn't want to be your friend or even associate, then that's not the type of person that uh, close-minded individual that you want in your life anyway. Okay, because they don't identify with anything about you at this point. At that point, you know, if if you hit on me, it, anybody male or female, and, you know, we work together, or I just know you, or I've just seen you around, and I say, no, I'm not interested, or I'm attached, or whatever I say, and we just go on with our day. If I see you tomorrow, like I saw you today, it's still going to be, hey, how you doing? I'm not going to treat that person or act any differently. But if a person shuts down on you after that and is like, ew, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to him. He tried to holler at me. I mean, if you've done it in a respectful way, if you said, hey, you know, I, you know, I don't know what your sexual orientation is, but um, I'd like to take you to dinner. We go to a movie or, you know, can I get your number or, you know, and they say no and you approach them in a respectful manner and then they act shitty afterward, fuck them. You don't want to be around that person anyway. You don't need that in your energy. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all. This is beautiful. I really don't. I guess I can pull an Oracle Advice card or two for you. This is great. I see forward progress and movement and loving. And then Lover's card is also the Gemini card. Here it says it's time to take action. Okay? So either you, you decided to or you haven't yet. Either way, whatever it is. You, like I said, you need to just go for it. This is positive here. This is telling you to go for it. 
this is giving you the green light. You know, this is telling you that this may possibly be a soulmate connection. Not possibly. Is. Okay, with the lover's card down here. And a fiery climax approaches. And show the world the real you. Okay, I don't think that message could be any clearer. I really don't. All right, Gemini. I love you guys. This is also you got a lot of Aries energy up in there. I'm an Aries. So that means you really need to get with it. Just if you haven't let this person know how you feel yet, you need to go for it. Okay? Just show the world the real you. Okay? Twinkle, baby. <laughs> I'll see you Tuesday. Bye-bye. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.